The aim of the hosting game is to summon spirits into your home. It is advised that no matter what happens, never look behind you. Hi Crypt Keepers, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight I'm going to be kicking off a new series on my channel and I thought that it was very appropriate because I know a lot of people are stuck indoors at the moment. A lot of us are social distancing in quarantines or in lockdowns and such so I feel like this is very fitting. Tonight we are going to be playing a very scary paranormal game known as the hosting game. Now I know that a lot of you might already be familiar with the hosting game because it's it's been around for a long time and you might have already seen a lot of other YouTubers play this game on their channels. But I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently here on Amy's Crypt because I'm going to be using some of my real paranormal investigation tools as we play to see if we can document any activity. I mean if this game is even real and we are able to summon spirits into our house it'll be very cool if we can get some of those devices to go off. I also just feel like this is some spooky fun that we can have while we're all cooped up inside. So there's a few things that you need to play the hosting game. You need a pen, a paper and matches and I'll run through now for you guys on how you can play. Select a small dark room to be used as your hosting room. This space will be used to summon three ghosts. Once night has fallen, turn off anything within your house which could cause noise and distractions. This includes every single light inside the house. To prepare the hosting room, turn on this room's light and only the light inside this room. Move to the furthest room away from the hosting room in the house, then repeat. I will be ready soon. Move through each room in your house repeating this same phrase until you reach your hosting room once again. I will be ready soon. I will be ready soon. I will be ready soon. Now to get the party started, enter your hosting room and write on a piece of paper your invitation. You are invited to a gathering hosted by Amy. It takes place at 9.10pm. Bring your friends. Leave that note in the middle of the room and return to the doorway. Here you will face into the room and state, I am ready, you may come in. Turn off the light and face your back to the hosting room. Now take three matches and count from one to ten, then strike the first match. If the match lights on the first strike, then say, I am glad to see you, thank you for coming. If the match does not light, proceed to the next step. Repeat step five again with the second match before moving on to the third. Now strike the last match. If it lights first strike, again, repeat. I am glad to see you, thank you for coming. If it does not light, this is very bad and you have uninvited guests. These could be bad spirits or in some versions of the game, demons. Immediately run to a light source, turn it on and end the game. If the last match lights, you now have spirits in the hosting room. You will be able to hear them whispering and making noise behind you. Do not turn around under any circumstance. When you want to end the game, simply turn on the nearest light and say, thank you for coming, goodbye. Alright guys, so now that I've shown you how to play the hosting game, we're just going to jump right into it. So I've, choosing, I've chosen my bedroom to be my hosting room because I'm cool with having spirits around. As I mentioned, we're all on lockdown and I am a paranormal investigator, so I'm getting withdrawals, not being able to go out and investigate. So I am choosing my bedroom to invite the spirits in. Now I've got a couple of tools here that I'm going to use. Uh, and I'm going to place it next to my little letter here, that, um, my invitation to the spirits. So I've got a K2 meter, measures changes in the electromagnetic field, which people believe ghosts could give up. So I'm just going to just chuck that on my bed. And if that lights up, that would just be crazy. I've also got these things, and you guys have seen me use these a lot of times. These are called cat balls. They are a cat toy. <laughs> So basically they're activated by movement. So if these things get moved, get touched like this, they will light up. If they're just still, they should just stay turned off. So I've got um, five of them. I'm just gonna kind of scatter them around my, my room. Now remember, I'm gonna be in the doorway and I'm not gonna be able to turn around and look behind me at any point. 
and that is a massive rule to to this game. I believe some versions of the hosting game they even call it like don't look behind you or something. I'm gonna try my best not to look behind me. I think if we get any noises or something like this lights up. I just turn. Oops, I don't think I had that one. If, if that starts lighting up the room and I can see it from you know the doorway but facing away that'd be kind of freaky right so i want to set these up i'm also going to use a couple more tools but from where i am in the doorway and i don't know we'll just we'll just see what happens <laughs> also guys i'm going to be standing in the doorway looking out but i'm also going to be recording everything that happens in this room probably from that corner looking this way with my night vision camera so this room will be completely dark but we'll be able to see what happens in it even though we're not allowed to look behind us we'll, we'll still see but you know when i review my footage and all that so i'm kind of excited to see if we pick up anything in the hosting room all right so i'm checking the k2 kind of here because i reckon my i'm gonna have to put my camera on this end somewhere cat ball cat ball cat ball cat ball so four on each corner of the bed and then i'm just going to chuck one of these on the floor kind of behind me i reckon but yeah let's get to it Ooh. All right, guys, this is the night vision cam and the setup of the room. I've had to just move some of the balls so they're just like in shot of the camera, but I'm going to just get the hosting room ready and just, just start. I am ready. You may come in. All right, guys, so I've just prepped up my hosting room. I'm standing in the doorway. I'm not allowed to look behind me. And I'm going to light these matches to invite the three spirits in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I'm glad to see you. Thank you for coming. So, I've got one spirit apparently. I am glad to see you. Thank you for coming. Okay, so they say it's very bad if the last match doesn't light and they say that you have uninvited guests, which could be bad or evil spirits behind you. So that's not good, but I mean, the rules say if that happens to cut the game straight away, run to the nearest light source, turn it on and yeah, game over. But you know what? Let's not do that. Let's just carry on with the investigation. Uh, that's what we're all about here. I have no idea if there are spirits behind me in the room. I'm not allowed to look. And it's kind of freaky because that last match didn't, did not light. I'm just going to be quiet for a little second and just listen because supposedly you're supposed to hear whispering and movement in the room behind you. Also, I have my other camera in there with the more like sensitive microphone and everything. So I feel like I could pick up noise pretty well. There is a motorbike in the distance right now, which is super annoying. <laughs> I feel like I just heard something in the room, but it definitely could be my imagination because this 
I'm not gonna lie, it's like a little bit creepy just because my back is to the room and it's so dark behind me. My name is Amy and I've just called on spirits to enter my house and to enter my bedroom. And I would love to know if there is anybody, good or bad, either way, is there anybody behind me? Is there anybody in my bedroom? Is there anybody in my bedroom? I'm not supposed to look behind me, but I kind of just peeked because one of the capitals started going off. I can actually see it on the viewfinder of my camera. So that was a bit creepy. If that is you in there, if there anyone in there, can you set off another one of those balls or possibly go and sit on the bed? If you sit right in the middle of the bed, there's a green light. If you head towards that green light, Maybe you can turn on other lights. I feel so silly because I already broke the rules of this game. <laughs> Just had a weird noise as well. It could be my house flexing. This is a newer home as well, guys. It's 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 not haunted, you know. Although every paranormal investigator, I'm sure, wishes had a haunted house, um, especially right now because it's difficult to film videos. And you guys are so lucky that I have so many paranormal investigations in my backlog, all pre-filmed. So I've got a lot of content <laughs> to come for you guys. I'm so excited for you to see some of the investigations, but. Yeah, I have a newer house. I don't ever notice it flexing and making noises like that. But yeah, I've never investigated it. I've never had a reason to, so. I don't know, I'll have to pay more attention to it, I guess. Can you knock on the wall or tap or, or do something to let me know that you're here? Again, maybe you can touch one of those balls in there. You can do something to let me know that you're behind me. Maybe you can touch me come play with my hair or something that would freak me out though so my hands just come and okay guys so I think I'm gonna grab my phone um, and maybe I'll try running a ghost tube. I'm not really going to go into the bedroom because I'm not even supposed to look in there. I know I accidentally looked before, but <laughs> maybe the ghost didn't notice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to run a ghost tube and see if we get anything through. So, why did I leave my phone? Right, so, you guys probably all already know that Jared and I developed this app ourselves. So, it's like our baby, I guess. But um, if you guys are interested in it, you want to support us, it's available uh, for free. Nine. No. 27. 27. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to actually start recording now. Because I wasn't recording just then, but we just got two words through. No idea if they're relevant. I mean, apparently I've got bad spirits behind me. So, knife and 27. I don't know. I'm just going to put my phone on the floor. It's just in between my feet now, guys, uh, just because I'm handsy when I talk. Um, but yeah, we developed that phone, al uh, the phone app ourselves, and yeah, we've made it free, so if you want to test it to try it, we would love that. We'd love to hear about your own investigations with GhostTube as well. Maybe you can try one in your own house as well. We're, we're all in lockdown or not really able to go out much, so it's kind of cool to play with. 
is that is there really somebody behind me? Do I really have three spirits, especially bad spirits behind me? Evil, demonic. I'm not sure I buy into that, but it's part of the, the rules, I guess. Can you whisper something? Hearing whispering behind you is like a big thing, big part of this game apparently. Can you say my name? Do you remember what my name is? Can you hear my neighbors yelling? I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> Where have you come from? I invited you into my house, but I have no idea where you came from. Can you tell me? Iron Man. See, it's difficult. I don't know what that was. That sounded like my house flexing, but again, like I don't ever notice those noises. That's really weird. See, it's difficult. See, it's difficult. See, it's difficult. See, it's difficult. I'll definitely be paying more attention to the movement of my house now because that is scary to hear that, like, I don't know really what that was. What does iron mean? So again, you invite these spirits in. Where do they come from? I do not know. So any responses is difficult to say whether they're relevant or not, because you don't really know anything about them. What do you know about me? Do you know anything about me? Do you know my name? Do you know my husband's name? He shares this room with me. He would be absolutely delighted if you said his name. <laughs> it would probably scare him, to be honest. No. <laughs> what about my closet? Just so you guys know, my closet is like right here. Now I need to just let you guys know how the app selects these words. It actually does them based on the magnetic reader that your, your phone can measure, the electromagnetic field, which people believe spirits can manipulate. And magnetic north naturally fluctuates around normally. So it's always kind of moving. It is always, it's interesting when you get these words and they, they come out. 
but it could always be a random fluctuation so I don't know if closet is relevant I'm almost tempted just to break the rules I mean I already accidentally broke them I'm not very good at following rules <laughs> but maybe I should just go look in the closet I don't know Into the hosting room why the spirits are in there. I mean, they're supposed to be bad spirits as well. I don't know. You know what? I'm just, just going to go a little bit closer. Sorry, you guys are on a tripod. Okay. So I'm in the room. This is the closet. Oh, stuck. Oh, I think I just hit a cat ball on the floor. I'm just gonna open the closet and then come back out. Oh my god, this is a mess. What am I doing? I just opened the closet. You can come out of there if you want. You're going to hide in my closet for later. When I go to put my PJs on, you're going to be in there, aren't you? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, guys, I think it's like almost time to end, end the game. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap up the ghost tube. Ah, that's all done. And then I'm going to end the game I guess so sorry thank you thank you for coming goodbye I am so excited to review this footage <laughs> all right guys so that was kind of fun um here's my letter that I left and like the equipment that we used I'm excited to review the footage of of my camera in here I know that cap, some cat balls went off I don't know if this thing went off I'd be surprised actually if it did go off but um yeah it was interesting the cat balls went off and I think that is my neighbors or something and that's not normal. <laughs> um, like they should be quarantining or something like that. <laughs> I don't see anyone out there either. All right, I look how like crazy and snoopy peering through those as well, by the way. But anyway, let's just carry on. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, it was interesting that this definitely lit up. That was, that was what made me accidentally look behind me. And I think that's just like a natural instinct. I heard some noises, but I suspect that could have been my house flexing. I don't know what else would cause that. As I said, I don't live in a haunted house, so they're not normally sounds I listen out for or care about. But yeah, I'm interested to, I didn't hear any whispering with my ears, but who knows, maybe we picked up some EVPs shoot on this camera that was positioned inside the hosting room also did run the ghost tube session and we got some weird words closet that's gonna freak me out forever now <laughs> especially because that last match didn't light so it's like oh evil spirit so I don't know ghost in there <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you know what guys like I just wanted to do something that was a little bit different I do have heaps of pre-filmed paranormal investigations at some really amazing locations that are coming up so don't worry my regular content isn't going anywhere I just thought it would be kind of cool to do something at home because I know that a lot of you are stuck at home and I want you guys to know that I'm right there with you we're all stuck 
I'm together in a sense apart as we should be but together so I just thought that it was important and just kind of cool to say I am a, I'm at home my content isn't going anywhere still gonna get two Amy script videos a week and yeah I, I don't know how long this is this is gonna go on for no nobody really does I hope that it goes away soon but I mean for now, we, we just gotta stay strong, stay in, stay inside. And that's what this is all about. I don't know if anyone wants to play the hosting game for themselves, but I've just shown you how to do it. If you're scared to do it, definitely you don't have to do it. I mean, I do think that it's just a game. It's just a bit of fun. But anytime that you call on spirits or reach out to the other side, who knows, you, you might get a response. So, I mean, that's why I wanted to play kind of interesting I still consider myself a serious paranormal investigator but I think that in these times we just need to let our hair down and have a little bit of fun so I do thank you guys for watching I hope that you had some fun with this episode I definitely had fun making it if you want to see more like this please let me know because I have a couple more paranormal games planned out that I kind of want to try and I really really want to film some new creative ideas running through my head. If you did like this video please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. You can do more reading about all of the haunted places around the world that I visited and even how to play this game over on amyscrypt.com that is my website so go check it out. You guys can also follow me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.